local news. First, this is Newry News Bite. Now we're standing here on Bridge Street in Newry and just behind me you can see that they're beginning the process of cleaning this area up. Now it's all started on Thursday evening when six to seven millimetres of water rainfall was pouring down per hour. Now this continued for about three to four hours right into the evening time of Thursday evening. Now Dara Hughes expressed his concern on Thursday night when he noticed the town hall. He said that the water was overflowing over the bridge and this was the first sign that this could be a disaster for the city. Now on Thursday evening Dara says that the sports centre was turned into an evacuation rescue centre for all those who may need to be evacuated from their home. Now just in Bridge Street behind me you can see that the houses are um, deeply underwater and the sandbags are out at the front of all the houses. Now there was a Russian family here and on Thursday night they had three children and a baby in the lower ground of the house. Now they went upstairs with the babies and the children. On the lower ground they began the process of putting the water out the window by buckets but still this was no good for them. Now Minister Mark Durkin has activated the emergency scheme which enables those affected in the city to gain £1,000. Now he stressed that this is not compensation money but he says this would go towards making the houses um, for those who have been affected um, easier to live in in the future. Now, Councillor McArdle said that he has never seen the area here as badly affected as it has been over the past couple of days, and he compared Newry to that of Venice. Charlie Casey has also said that action is needed in the future so that this does not happen again in the city. And as you can see, they are beginning the process of cleaning here up in Bridge Street at the moment, and hopefully the rainfall will stay away over the next couple of days. Local news. First, this is Newry News Bite.